Hey, what's up? It's fucking Schnell, and uh, let me get my seat. Ah. What's up? Happy Friday, everybody. Um, how's everybody doing? Today we are going to go over um, two very different albums, and uh, we are currently listening to Blood Incantation, Star Spawn, the B side. So fucking. But anyways, we're gonna start off with Full of Hell in the Bodies, Split, One Day You Will Ache Like I Ache. It's actually a collaboration, not a split, but I bought this off of Full of Hell when I saw them with Nails, the last time that Nails toured in June. But um, I emailed... Uh, it was uh, Thrill Jockey Records, because that's who the body's on, and I asked, uh, because this actually has two different tracks than the digital and CD version. Like, uh, the CD and um, digital version have a track called, uh, it's like, uh, the small, uh, fuck, I forget what it's called, but it's... It's not on here, and it doesn't matter because you have two extra tracks, which are insane. Like, legitimately fucking insane sounding. Like, this record, to me, is like... First off, it's amazing. Like, because Fool of Hell fucking rules. The body rules. You put them both together, and you just get insanity. Like, but... It's pretty much, like, it's on this, like, real sick, like, I guess it's plum, or, they were saying it's it was red, but to me that looks plum, but, uh, everything's DIY, it's, uh, like, there's even some, like, you know, extra, like, ink down here, it's really, really cool, like, I love that, like, they went and released, like, a different, like, copy of, like, this album. I just wish I could remember the other tracks that are missing and were replaced with these other ones. But this part of the song fucking rules. Check. So good. But I can't really recommend this album to everyone. Because, okay, if you're expecting, like, super grindy and pissed off, like, full of hell, you're gonna get that a little bit. This is more noise-oriented, and I feel like the body did a lot more than full of hell on this, but then the last time I saw full of hell live, I mean, it was at technically a hardcore show, but no, they, like straight up had a fucking noise box everything it was insane like one of the best live bands i've ever seen like and the thing that kind of bummed me out though was i really wanted to pick up the vinyl copy of their split with fucking Merzbow, but i went out real quick and i snagged this Went out to my ride, gave it to my ride, came back in, and they had all their vinyl set out. And the dude was like, oh, if you want to trade, like, just go get the record you just bought, and, you know, you can get whatever one you want. My ride had left. It doesn't matter, because I would have never been able to get this anywhere else. So, I'm just glad as fuck I have it, but, like... I just wish it was a little easier to follow because it's insane, like, <laughs> it really is, like, you don't know what side is side A and you don't know what side side B, um, it's just, uh, trying to see something real quick. There's, um, a Leonard Cohen cover of, uh, The Butcher, which is, um, you know, it's weird as shit because this whole album is weird as shit. But it's got additional vocals by uh, Chrissy Wolfpert. Um, so, you know, if you're into, like, different shit, 
like than your typical, you know, brutality or like anything like that. Like, I, I really suggest checking this album out, and especially if you're into noise. Um, like, I'm trying to think of a good example. Um, like, if you like Full Hell Split with Mersbow, this is more like the Sister Fawn um, EP that came with that. If you, you understand what I mean? It's more noise oriented and more about atmosphere and just auditory hatred than anything. If you've heard the body, um, No One Deserves Happiness, it's more along those lines than a full hell release like but i don't care it's fucking great i really wish i knew off the top of my head i'm going to start taking notes for these videos just so i have them but like i said this was self-released i don't know if any copies even exist at the moment you might be able to pick one up uh, if you see the body or full of hell on tour, but I would love to fucking get um, all of the body's collaborations over the past couple of years, especially their one with Val. Holy shit! Like that's my personal favorite, and the one with Krieg is great. But anyways, I'll give this an eight out of ten. It just depends on your musical taste, really. Like. If you like really extreme, different music that, like, you won't really be able to put your finger on, like, even influences. Like, some of them, like, are there. Like, you'll hear some, like, weird black metal-y stuff. You'll hear a bunch of just, like, some Swans-type stuff. But then it's just really, really just a special record. I can't even, like describe it as like straight metal because it's not it's like i said it's more of a noise album but in the best way possible like i love noise i love harsh noise but like th like this isn't pig heart transplant or like you know even uh wolf size or anything like that it's some it's its own like i don't know i feel like it's in, in its own fucking like subgenre of awesome so yeah if you see these guys pick them up either band uh full of hell or the body this is only available through those dudes to my knowledge i mean you might be able to get it on discogs or ebay but you're probably going to get ripped off but again i don't know if it's um getting re-released or not but right now we're going to go over one of my favorite death metal albums ever that i was lucky enough to fucking get a copy of and that's massacre from beyond it's um like my local record store gets black a lot so it's no big deal but holy shit like one of my favorite death metal albums of all time definitely in the top five when it comes to Florida death metal especially, this, like, is up there with Morbid Angel and Death. I mean, hell, if you like Leprosy Error Death, then you, you need this album. Because half of Death's lineup on Leprosy is on this album. Like, for real. And, you know, you got Eric doing the artwork. So, like, it just... I, I love it. It's fucking so sick. It even reminds me, like, of Alters of Madness with, like, the portal and stuff. Like, it's just so dope. Like, I mean, the inside is just pretty much an insert with lyrics. It's actually ripped. Because um, my record stores, usually, like, they sell used stuff. So, yeah, like, as you can see, it's just little ripped it happens i mean i don't care but my record store does charge a lot for records they know i'm gonna buy like i feel like there's a couple of us that go to my local record store to buy metal records and yeah it's not everyone but sometimes you get lucky and you know like i said you find sick shit i got a phone call from repo records uh 
yesterday actually, they finally got my copy of Neurosis um, in Fires, whatever, I forget the name of it, in Fires, we light fires or whatever their new LP's called. Um, I need to get to South Street, but um, I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully they held it an extra day because I um, told them you guys held it for me this long. I don't get paid till Friday, which is today, so please hold it for me. But I really hope to have, um, you know, a copy of, uh, and even if, like, they were to sell the new Neurosis, like, without my permission, or not even without my permission, like, let's say I just didn't go pick it up, they do have Honor and Decay there, so I could pick that up. They said they have two copies of it, but let's talk about fucking Massacre for a second. Like, okay, like, Repka kills it on the artwork. I mean, obviously, look at that shit. Like, I can't get over how fucking awesome it is. But you have Cam Lee on vocals, Rick Ross on guitar, Terry Butler on bass, and fucking Bill Andrew on drums. 1991, more sound, Scott Burns. Like... There are no vocal effects on this record. That's how you know shit is sick. Like, I think it's on, um... Uh, fucking Dawn of Eternity, actually. Where, uh... It, it's like this Lord... Well, I know it was way before the, um... Fucking Cryptopsy None So Vile record came out. But, like... I'm pretty sure that's where Lord Worm got his influence for his, uh, high notes. But, I know live flow would kind of hit him, but sometimes his drum mic wouldn't pick it up. I haven't seen Cryptopsy uh, since Lord Worm left in 2006. I saw them on the Once Was Not, when they were touring for Once Was Not was the last time I saw them. And I saw that Century Media reissued um, fucking None So Vile, I would like to go to my record store and tell them to order it, we'll see, um, but like I said, Dawn of Eternity is probably one of the best 90s death metal songs ever, if not one of the best death metal songs ever, it has everything you will want from a death metal record right here. I mean, like, the songs are a little bit, like, fucking long. I mean, hell, got fucking, wanna know where Corpse Grinder got his name from? I'm pretty sure it's not from this record, but, uh, I think he had the name before this, but there's definitely a track called Corpse Grinder, and I forget, because I haven't seen Centuries of Torment in a while, so... I forget where George got his nickname from, but it might be from this Massacre record, I forget. But, um, I just can't say enough about how good this is. And this is a 2014 reissue. Like I said, I don't care about reissues and stuff. As long as I can listen to it, it doesn't really fucking matter, you know? So, again, we got ourselves an 8 out of 10 just because I know not everyone will like this. Like, it's very ugly sounding in a good way. But when it comes to fucking Massacre, I don't know who's not going to like this. This is a 10 out of 10. It's a classic. You just need this if you like death metal. It needs to be in your collection. So, if you can get lucky and find a copy, get it. If you see it on a, you know, on Discogs or something, pick it up, or whatever, you know, wherever you, you get your shit from. It's sick. Uh, I'm actually wearing uh, a t-shirt with some art by Eric. New art. I reviewed this album yesterday, um, Gruesome's EP of uh, Dimensions of Horror. So check that video out. Hopefully there's no hatred in the comments today. That shit is getting old. It's lame. Like, just chill on that shit. I'm just trying to make videos and let you guys know about cool tunes. So, thanks for watching. 
I'll check back in later. We might do another record review. Depends if I can get to Philly.